Hi, this is the third episode of Cloud Appreciation. I'd like to share an inspiring story with you. But before telling you the story, let me teach you some weather observation techniques first. I don't know if you've ever tried counting clouds. How would you describe the amount of clouds? Would you count them in patches, slices, layers, or pieces? Our observers use octa. For example, we'd say there are four octas of clouds today, or there was one octa of clouds yesterday. Why use octa? I'll explain this to you now. As observers, we can't just view one direction during weather observation. Southeast, northwest, above the head, all angles must be observed in detail. So the observing vision is like a 180 degree fisheye lens. We'll divide this circle into eight equal parts, from zero octa with no clouds at all, to eight octas with clouds completely covering the whole sky. Does this sound easy? Really? Let's have a test. In this picture, how many octas should we report for this situation? Is it 4.4, 4.5? Or round it off? Count it as one octa, even if it isn't complete? How's that? Any good ideas? As an observer, remember that in weather observation guidelines, more clouds are considered as a worse condition. And we should therefore report the worst condition. So in this example, we'll report five octas. Is that easy? How about this example? We only see a trace of cloud in this picture, so how many octas should we report? It's getting more difficult now. Let me give you one more test. So how many octas should we report? We'll report seven octas this time. Are you feeling a bit lost? Based on the first and second examples, all clouds must be reported and the extra, even less than one octa, should be reported as one octa. If that's so, there should be no problem reporting eight octas. But why is that wrong? It's because everything has an exception. Both eight octas and zero octa are absolute values. Zero octa means there are no clouds at all, and eight octas means the sky is completely covered by clouds. Eight octas can only be reported if there are no breaks at all. So in the third example, we can only report seven octas. Is this confusing? Let me summarize. First, we have to observe the sky in all directions. Second, divide the sky into eight equal parts. Third, only report the cloud amount in full integers. We count the extra portion of cloud directly as one octa. We report 1.5 octas as two octas, 5.1 octas as six octas. Lastly, both zero octa and eight octas are absolute values. After all, it's only the third episode, so I also feel it may be a bit difficult. Don't worry, if you still don't quite get it, just watch this video again. Now it's story time. There is a type of cloud called stratocumulus. It ranks second in the family. It has an elder sister called stratus. Stratus is gentle and down to earth. It often appears in spring. Stratus has different forms. It is a photography subject that photographers adore. It has a younger sister called cumulus, which can only be described in one word, cute. Cumulus has a vivid image. Summer is its home field. People can't ignore her. But in between stratus and cumulus, stratocumulus, 
Even its name, Stratocumulus, is like a hybrid. To put it nicely, it's a crossover. Actually, its appearance doesn't have prominent characteristics. Its appearance mixes the characteristics of stratus and cumulus clouds. Overall, stratocumulus is like a pillow. Although there is little vertical development, the cloud base isn't firm. It's even a little bit loose. Usually, the proportion of the stratocumulus is a lot more horizontal than vertical. Stratocumulus can appear all year round. Although it shows up all the time, people seldom notice it. Stratocumulus is born to be just like a passerby, a pawn, etc. Although stratocumulus is ordinary, it still works hard to move upward. Among low clouds, stratus is only a few hundred to a thousand something feet high, at most just leaning above the hills while cumulus clouds are mainly below 4,000 feet in Hong Kong. Only stratocumulus can extend from a thousand something feet up to almost 6,000 feet in the upper air, where we can still see it. How high is 6,000 feet? It's almost the height of two blocks of Tai Shan. Stratocumulus is also an evolving cloud. Yes, I mean evolving. When stratocumulus clouds keep on rising, their appearance will gradually get more detailed. They become more like pieces of cotton and arrange themselves in an organized way. Sometimes the general public may mistake it as altocumulus. When the conditions fit, the ordinary stratocumulus can go all the way up to the mid-level height and transform into one of the middle clouds. This feature can't be imitated by other low clouds, i.e. from ordinary with no prominent characteristics to becoming a cloud with a height of 6,000 feet. It then keeps on rising and transforms into middle clouds. It's really a hard-working, passionate genius. See you in the next episode.